Robert Earl, digitalagentshow.com, and today I'm going to share with you the steps to getting your Delaware real estate license. Now, Delaware requires a 99-hour course. This course can be taken either in a classroom setting or online. With an online course, you can get started as soon as today going through the 99 hours. The way the online course works is that while you are actually reading the materials, the hours are being tracked so that you have the opportunity to read the materials and get credit for your 99 hours. Compare this with a classroom. In a classroom, you have to actually be sitting in the classroom for a set amount of time, and you really don't get credit for the amount of time that you're reading outside of the classroom. Now included within that 99 hours is 33 hours of real estate law course. Combined, it's a total of 99 hours that you have to go through. Delaware does offer a math pretest. So if you want to go ahead and take the math test questions beforehand, you can go through and get a certification for the pretest. You can get more information on the link that I provided about the pretest, but a passing score of 80% will exempt you from taking the math section of the course. Now, speaking of that 80%, once you've taken the course, you are going to have to take a final exam for the course, and that has to be passed at a 80% or higher amount. Once you've passed it, then the school will report to the state that you've completed the coursework, you've completed the 99 hours. They will issue to you a certificate of completion. Once you have that certificate of completion, you are then allowed to register with Pearson View, the independent testing center, so that you can take the national slash state exam. Once you've passed that exam, you're then eligible to associate with a broker and get started with your real estate career. Now, one of the courses that we recommend is with the CE shop. And with the CE shop, you can sign up for the course. They even offer a free trial. Within the free trial, you can start the modules. And if you decide to pay during the free trial period, uh, the amount of time that you've spent will get credited to you and it will just roll over into your course. When you get ready to select a course, your 99 hour course, you're gonna have a different course packages that you can select. One package is the course only. And I've got to tell you, I don't recommend that you get just strictly the course. I think you should get the standard package or the value or the premium. Let me explain. The standard package also includes the exam prep module. The exam prep module is very important because it provides you with the sample test questions that'll help you prepare for the classroom test and the independent state slash national exam that you have to take and pass at an 80% or higher basis. The value package does give you additional information, including a business building course, and the premium package also includes your post licensing classes. Now, you don't have to buy those right now. There is a discount of value of it being packaged together in the premium package, but you are going to need to, within 12 months, take your 12 hours post sales. And if you want to get that out of the way, then the premium package is the one that you would select. But as a minimum, you want to go with the standard package or higher so that you do have the exam prep module. You have one year from the time that you sign up to take the course uh, to complete it. Now, you don't want to take the entire year. The purpose of the real estate course is not really to teach you how to sell real estate. I've mentioned this in other videos. The purpose of the course is to give you the fundamentals, the uh, definitions, the vocabulary, the certain scenarios that you need to be able to recall on a multiple choice test to be able to pass, in the case of Delaware, at 80% or higher. You'll actually learn how to sell real estate with the real estate brokerage that you select. 
Some focus on training, some don't. So that's a very important decision that you'll have to make. And I've got a link below to an article that talks about which real estate company is the best training company for you to consider. So again, once you're done with the course, you have a certificate of completion. You can take that, register for the independent test, pass that independent test. You're then in a position to associate with the brokerage. The brokerage will assist you, a good brokerage will assist you in filling out your paperwork with the state, getting you registered with the local association of realtors, the Delaware Association of Realtors and the National Association. It will get you signed up with the multiple listing system, the MLS system, the lockbox system, and any other required local organizations that you belong to that are associated with that brokerage. So again, as an overview, 99 hours, take the course, pass the course final test, take the independent state slash national exam, pass that, and then you're ready to select a brokerage and that brokerage will be responsible for training you how to find buyers, how to find sellers, how to be successful in real estate.